Good morning, YouTube. It is Monday, July 17th. It is a work day and it is seven o'clock in the morning. I just finished getting ready and I'm about to make myself a cup of coffee to go and then I'm gonna get on the road and head to the office, but I wanted to go ahead and vlog today. So that's what we'll be doing. Not really sure what all's going on today. I don't have a lot of stuff to do at work. We have a new employee who is joining my team. So we're gonna be working on some just some onboarding stuff and a little bit of training over the next couple of days. I've been participating in Camp NaNoWriMo and while I did not write any words yesterday, because I mean it was the Game of Thrones premiere, come on. So I didn't write anything yesterday. I did have a really good writing day on Saturday where I wrote 2,792 words. So that was a really, really good day for me and I'm hoping I can keep it up for the rest of this month and just meet that 50,000 word count goal for July. So that way in November for NaNoWriMo, I can finish or write the remaining 50,000 words for the second book in the Shadow Crown series. So yeah, that'll be awesome to have my first draft of the second book of that series done by the end of this year. That's really what I'm striving for. So that's enough of this rambly intro. I'm gonna go ahead and make myself some coffee to go, change into my work clothes, and then head out the door. It's about 1.15 in the afternoon. I have just been go, 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 so crazy trying to get stuff done. So I'm sorry I haven't been filming that much, but it's just been a really busy day with a lot to do and a lot to get done. So I just wanted to come on here, say hi real quickly while I'm still here at the office. I'll definitely be vlogging more after work and on my way home and all that good stuff. But I've only got about four more hours here, so I know that sounds like a lot of time, but with the amount of things I need to get done, it's really not that much time. So I'm gonna get back to it. And don't you start the music getting to it, won't you dance with me? Find a place and lose it, you can do it, won't you dance with me? Move your feet and feel it in the space between. Just left the office not too long ago. It is 4.40 right now. I realize that I'm hungry and I don't feel like cooking tonight. <laughs> So we are getting some food from Olive Garden, but it's 4.40 right now and Olive Garden will not be ready with our to-go order until 5.15. So right over here, as you can see behind me, is TJ Maxx. So I decided since it's just right across the street, I would hop in here and just kind of bop around, see if I can find anything that I want to buy. I don't really have anything necessarily that I'm looking for, but I'm sure I will be drawn to the notebook section. So here we go. Downtown we let go, sunset high and our bodies low, blood rush in the hazy glow, my hands are bones. Alrighty, just picked up the food from Olive Garden and now heading home. I walked out of TJ Maxx with $150 worth of stuff. Always happens to me, TJ Maxx and Target, no matter what, whenever I walk in there, I don't need anything and I walk out with a bunch of stuff. But it's actually things that I had been looking for for a while that just kind of sat in the back of my mind. I didn't really find anything that I liked. So I guess it worked out. I'm really happy with everything I bought. And of course I bought two more notebooks even though I don't need them, but these were so cute and they were only $4.99 each. So it's like, whatever. I can always use more notebooks. I'm a writer after all. I believe a package may have been delivered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you saw from the last clip, I am home now. We ended up eating our Olive Garden dinner really quickly because I was absolutely starving. But I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that I got at TJ Maxx and also that I just got in the mail from Amazon. So the first thing from TJ Maxx is this sort of organizer. It was only $8.00. And I really wanted to have something on my bookshelf because I do have one shelf that's a little empty and I just want to be able to put stuff in here and make it look more organized. I also, for $10, got this really cute 
workspace organizer. So I don't have much room on my desk to use this, but this could actually work really well in my bathroom or possibly in one of these desk drawers just to be a little bit more organized. I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna do with this yet, but I wanted it because it was only $10. I've also had these for a while. They're binder clips and they have really cute messages on them like create, you got this, I can, I will. And I got these from Target. But while I was at TJ Maxx, I also found just these really cute binder clips. So I feel like they're just my style, kind of really cute design with kind of the marble and sort of the crisscross print. So I wanted to get more of these because I use binder clips all the time, especially to clip all my notes and my outlines together once I print them out. Same with my manuscript. I also bought some work shirts at TJ Maxx. I already hung those up, so I'm not going to go get them bought some more kind of like robes, just com more comfortable clothing. Now let's get into the books that I got. So the first two are by the same author. We have Boss Bitch and Rich Bitch by Nicole Lapin. I'm guessing her name's Lapin. So Boss Bitch is a simple 12 step plan to take charge of your career. And Rich Bitch is a simple 12 step plan for getting your financial life together finally. I do not need so much help in the financial department. I'm doing just fine but I do think there will be some lessons learned that I can definitely apply to my life. So I wanted to get this just to see what it was all about and it had really great reviews. I've heard good things. So I wanted to read this one and just see what kind of insight it had. Kind of along the same lines as Rich Bitch, I feel like for Boss Bitch, I feel like I'm doing really well in my career, but again, I'm one of those people who really likes personal development books and I feel like I can always be learning something new. So I just wanna see what key takeaways come from these two books and she is uber successful. So I would highly recommend checking her out. She's a New York Times bestselling author. So obviously she's figured something out that maybe a lot of people haven't. The next book I got is probably one that a lot of you know and that is Unshakable by Tony Robbins. I have just heard that all of his books are incredible. I listened to some of his podcasts but I have not read any of his books and I've just heard that this is a wonderful book and it's your guide to financial freedom, creating peace of mind in a world of volatility. So I'm really excited to dive into this one. And the other personal development book I got is 52 Ways to Live a Kick-Ass Life by Andrea Owen. So it's BS free wisdom to ignite your inner badass and live the life you deserve. So this is kind of what my Hustle Smarter Not Harder webinar series is all about. So when I saw this cover, I was just really kind of captivated by the title. And when I read the back blurb, I was like, oh yes, like I need to have this book in my life immediately. And I just love this as a much needed kick in the ass for women everywhere. So it is geared toward women, which I also really like. So I think I may actually read this one first, and then I'm probably going to read Unshakable next. And then I'm not sure which one of these I'm gonna tackle probably the rich bitch one because I feel like this is a money book and I'll kind of be in the money mindset after reading Tony Robbins book. And so then I'll want to move on to this one and then I'll read this one last. That's kind of what I'm doing. I've really been more on a personal development reading kick lately. Not as much a fiction reading kick. I started reading City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. While I like it, I think it was definitely I would have loved it when I was younger. I do think, especially that first book was written for a much younger audience. So I'm having a hard time getting through it. I like the storyline, I like the concept and the plot seems to be something that I would be interested in. But in terms of actually getting through the book, I'm just kind of struggling. It's not, I mean, I just read A Court of Thorns and Roses and I cannot put that book down. So I feel like I'm struggling a little bit with that. So I may go ahead and just kind of take a break from that book and start reading A Court of Mist and Fury because I've heard amazing things. I couldn't put the first book down. So stands to reason I probably won't be able to put the second book down. But if you guys have been watching my vlogs for a while, then you know I do read two books at a time, but I will never read two books in the same sort of genre at the same time. So I normally like to read a fiction work and a nonfiction work. And that's just because if I'm reading two fiction works at the same time, I'll get the concepts confused. And same goes for nonfiction. If I'm reading two at the same time, I'll get them confused. So I like to read one that's kind of more creative, kind of in you know a different headspace, and then I can switch over when I feel like reading personal development, nonfiction type books. I'll switch over to one of those. So yes, I think this one is going on my to read list 
first and I'll probably get started on reading this tonight. I also got some pens. I know I showed these. So I have, I'm very particular about the pens that I write with and the way that they write. I like things to feel a certain way. These are my absolute favorite and I'm pretty sure they're limited edition because I had to buy them on Amazon. I went to Walmart, I went to Target, I even went to Office Max and I also went to Staples and I could not find these. But they are the Pilot Pens, they're Dr. Grip and these are specifically the Breast Cancer Awareness Pens. And I have these other ones I like by Pilot, they're Dr. Grip Gel, but I find that this is not as soft, this grip area and it is definitely more of a gel pen so it writes really smoothly. I actually like to press down a little bit harder when I'm writing, which is why I love this pen. This is much, you can see it's much softer. I can actually kind of squish it. And then when I'm writing, I feel like the ink's really good, but it's not gel. So I'm still having to press a little bit harder and I just like the way my handwriting looks with these pens. So yep, yeah, both Pilot pens, both Dr. Grip pens, I just prefer to buy the ones that um, are the breast cancer awareness ones because I just like the way they feel and I like the way they write. Does anyone else have pens that they love or have very weird necessities or specifications that you look for in a pen? I don't know if this is just very OCD of me. It probably is. You guys are all probably <laughs> thinking that I'm nuts right now. But I've just always been very strange and very weird about my pens. If I'm going to write something down, I want to actually enjoy writing it and I want my handwriting to look good and I don't want my hand to cramp up which I feel like that happens with a lot of the skinnier pens so if you're looking for a good pen I recommend Pilot's Dr. Grip pens and if you guys have any pens that you absolutely love please leave them in the comments below because I'd love to check them out also if you are reading any personal development books as well that I have not mentioned in any of my videos then please leave those suggestions as well because I'm always looking for more personal development books. Also, please ignore my office because it is a little bit on the messy side, but I did wanna show you guys this sort of art tapestry piece that I got. It's from Society6. You can tell it's a skull, but it's made of flowers and birds and really pretty things. And when I saw it, it just really spoke to me and I wanted to have it up in my office, just kind of give myself some artwork to look at and just some inspiration. So I'm loving that. And then the other thing I did find at TJ Maxx that I almost forgot to talk to you guys about because I started working on it was this sort of vision board. This is a Sheffield home, um, I guess, decorative board or push board, pin board, whatever you want to call it. And I think they're originally around $50, but this was on sale for $29.99. And it's obviously not done yet, but I've started cutting out certain words or phrases that I really like from magazines or ones that speak to me. I have some more right here as well, but I need to get more of those little pins. You can see these pins right here are really teeny tiny. So I ordered more of those from Amazon. I'm also going to print some quotes and some pictures from Pinterest and actually print those out on nice glossy paper. And that way I'll have a really cool vision board. And I've actually cleared space up here so i used to have some picture frames and things up there so that is where i'm going to put this vision board so that way when i'm sitting here at my desk i will be able to look up at my vision board i think at some point i am going to do a bookshelf tour i do have quite a few books so give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see a bookshelf tour in the near future i am going to be changing out these pictures i kind of i'm just wanting to do a whole office revamp and obviously I need to <laughs> I need to organize this it's just a mess and then this corner has still just been <sighs> it's been a nightmare to deal with so I need to put that stuff away and same with this I moved a lot of stuff from my desk over to this and it's still just a huge mess so a lot that I want to do but I think I can get it done in one weekend and make it look exactly how I want it to. I also just went and took my makeup off because after a long day of work, there's just nothing better than being able to take off all your makeup, taking out your contacts, being able to do this to your face because it just, normally when you have makeup on, you can't do that because you would just smear everything and it's just a huge mess. So it just feels really good to have a clean face where I can touch my face and not worry about foundation or powder coming off. But, I am going to try to get at least an hour of writing in right now. I'm doing well for Camp NaNoWriMo, but I'm definitely, I'm definitely behind. So I'm going to try to really catch up. I have a lot of words I have to write if I actually want to get my 50,000 words done by July 31st. That's really more of a tentative goal though. 
if I get it done by August 15th, that's great too. As you guys know, if you watch my bi-monthly goals video, my goal was to write 50,000 words of the second book of Shadow Crown by the end of August. So I'm really not too concerned if I don't finish it by the end of July. That would be really cool because then I would technically, I guess, win Camp NaNoWriMo. But if I don't, it's not, it's not a deal breaker. It's not a huge deal because I know that I will get it done. So enough of my rambling. I'm going to go ahead and get started on some writing. Alrighty, we are now in bed because it is 9.30 which I know probably seems kind of early for some of you, but I have to wake up at 5.30 tomorrow morning and I'm really tired from today, but I was able to write 1,752 words. So that was a really good productive evening, but I am exhausted, I'm really tired and I have a long day at work tomorrow. So I think I'm gonna read a little bit. My eyes are really tired, so I'm hoping they'll kind of hold out for me while I start reading this, which I'm really excited to dive into. The only thing I'm nervous about is when I start reading personal development books, I tend to kind of start binge reading them and I can't put them down. And I've noticed this is a very short book, so I hope that I don't get so captivated by it that I can't put it down <laughs> because I really need to go to bed. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Do not forget that my Hustle Smarter Not Harder webinar series is still open. There are still spots even though there are a limited number of sessions and seats, but you can sign up for that at thatsmarthustle.com. You can also get more information about the program on my Twitter account and also on the website. So make sure you check that out. And don't forget it is at a discounted price where you can get $50 off. Eventually it is going to go back up to its original price of $199. Right now it's only $149. And I would also like to ask that if you guys have read my books and you like them it would mean so much to me if you would leave a review for my books on amazon as well as on goodreads it really does help authors out when you leave reviews it can be one sentence two sentences or you can just put a star rating it's really up to you but just some sort of review would really help me out and it would help other readers out there discover my book when they are shopping on Amazon. With that being said, thank you guys so much for your support. I am getting close to 15,000 subscribers, so I will be doing a giveaway very soon, and it will be an international giveaway. So just remember to put in the comments below what types of prizes you would like to see for that giveaway. Okay, I'm going to sign off here. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!